I wasn't planning on making this video. I didn't even have any idea that I would end up recording today. I woke up early and I started reading a book uh, titled Win Bigly by Scott Adams. And it's a book on persuasion and it uses accounts from Donald Trump. So I started reading it this morning and it was a little bit interesting, but I wasn't, you know, it's politics, President Trump, and I don't, I don't really give a shit about that. I'm not a politician. And then it just kind of hit me and I had to stop and I thought, wait, hang on. Like, oh shit, oh shit. I think I have a way bigger level of influence than I realized. I'm not at the level of, of President Trump or anything, but like does a normal politician, normal or even a, a high level politician, is it normal for them to give a speech to 50,000 people, 100,000 people every single day? Because that's what I'm doing. 22 million young men have been watching the videos on the main channel. That's a total view count. 22 million. I think it's reasonably unreasonable to think that a year from now I might actually have like such a huge significant influence over tens of millions of men to the point that it's comparable to things like the the UK Prime Minister to the same level of influence over millions of people. <clears throat> Am I doing a good job? When I started this YouTube channel, I, you know, at first I started with a couple of random videos, then I didn't post for like nine months, then in May 2020 I started posting. I did it only for the selfish goal of like, yep, it's, it's online income and you know, I get to fulfill the four hour work week. You know, I'll make some videos about <laughs> back pain or how to build your body without thinking like it's gonna be something serious. But now I'm, I'm seeing this as an opportunity to quite literally change our generation and the generations after that. I truly believe that I have the potential to be one of the top in like male influencers of our time. I'm trying to figure out like this, this literally just hit me this morning. Of course, you know, I've kind of had this in mind and I've been saying I'm a cult leader and everything, but this is, I'm talking about on like a grand level and I'm trying to figure out which which direction to take because it's 100% certain you come to my channel to get influenced to be onto self-improvement and to do the good habits and the idea is that when you do get onto self-improvement it gives you more of a capacity to then go on and help other people so first you'll be your boys then eventually you'll be like the wider community but how do we want this generation of young men to turn out? If we could imagine like men being influenced to be in a certain way, what is literally the most ideal scenario? Because I'm the one on camera, but you, the guy who's watching this, you also have an input on this. It's weird in the modern day that the stuff that you view, the stuff that you watch for the, you know, the long duration of the, the average retention and the stuff that you like and you share on YouTube, it kind of changes the future of our generation. The stuff that you comment underneath this video will influence me and that will influence potentially a million people over the next two months. What is the goal? Because so far I have stopped my thinking at the level of the individual. I'm on self-improvement. Here's my learning lessons. Let's try and get them onto you. I need to stare at my wall. I advise you to do the same thing. And if you can think of something that you think might help me here and you want to start a discussion in the comments, I'll be there as well. It's very interesting. Like what direction do we want young men to go into? It's a lot of responsibility, but I'm so excited for it. So I wrote this down. I'm going to stick this up on my wall. You're, you're literally influencing millions of men and there's a space underneath it for something. And I, just, I can't figure out what to write there. You're literally influencing millions of men 
do the right thing, make them strong. Like, I need to clarify what that vision is. Like, what are we influencing this generation for? What is that vision? Like, what is the best case scenario of this work that we're all doing here? Because on the individual level, we already know it. Okay, so self-actualization, get your finances met, mental health, get the physique and everything. But what goes on further than that? Is it fatherhood? Do we grow ourselves at this point so that we can become better fathers, fathers who stick around and we reverse the fatherless nation? And that probably reverses a bunch of the problems that we've experienced as young men. It probably reverses the sexual market problem because then young boys and girls will grow up with a masculine father who stayed in the house, who's strong, who has good mental health. There's so much to think about. I'm going to end this here, bro. Just give me some fucking ideas, man. <laughs> Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.